Hello preschool friends. I have some fun apple themed activities for you today and we're going to start with a song. So your teachers have a sheet that looks like this and we're going to sing a song called A Little Apple Seed to the tune of Itsy Bitsy Spider. Do you know that song? Once a little apple seed was planted in the ground. Down came the soft rain falling all around. Out came the sun as bright as bright could be and that little apple seed grew to be an apple tree should we do that again once a little apple seed was planted in the ground down came the soft rain falling all around out came the sun as bright as bright could be and that little apple seed grew to be an apple tree Good job. There's also a couple of other songs. One is to the tune of ABCs. I bet you know that song. Apples juicy, apples round, on the trees and on the ground. Apples yellow, apples red, apple juice and pie and bread. Apples crunchy, apples sweet, apples are so good to eat. Mm, that song makes me hungry. I want to know more about apples. How about you? This book is called Apples, Apples, Apples. And I don't know if any of you have ever been to an orchard where you pick apples, but this book shows a bunny family going to an orchard to pick apples. One blue sky day in early autumn, Dad asked, who wants to go apple picking? Me, me, yelled Minna. Me, shouted Pip. Me too, said mom. Let's go. They walked down the road to Long Hill Orchard. Glad to see you, said Mr. Miller. Here are some bags to put your apples in. What kind do you want to pick? I want apples for pie, said dad. I need apples for crafts, said mom. Yum, yelled Pip. I'm going to pick apples for my snack at school. Minna whispered, I want apples for a surprise. Oh, look at the different kinds of apples here. There's Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Macintosh, Granny Smith, and Roan Beauty. And there's even more kinds of apples than that if you ever look in the store. And each one of these things in the graph shows that the apple has that characteristic. So they're all for eating. But Red Delicious is not very good for cooking or baking, but it's very sweet and it's very crisp. And some of the other things are tart, soft, cooking, baking, eating. Yum, look at all the different things you can do with apples. Come look at this chart, said Mr. Miller. It shows the kinds of apples we grow in our orchard. I can't wait to see the apple trees, said Minna. Climb aboard, said Mr. Miller. They all climbed onto the farm wagon. Mr. Miller started up the tractor. Hold on, he said. It's a bumpy, bumpy ride. The sky was blue. The air smelled crisp and clean. It was a great day for picking apples. When they got to the orchard, there were apples everywhere. Pip tugged on an apple. The limb shook and lots of apples fell to the ground. Uh-oh. Try lifting and twisting the apple, said Minna, then pull on it gently. I read that in my apple book. Look, Minna, said Pip, lift, twist, pluck. I can do it. Lift, twist, pluck. They all picked and picked and picked. Look, there's the different kinds of apples. Mr. Miller used a special tool for picking the apples that were hard to reach. Look, it makes them taller. He let Minna and Pip have a turn. Then Mr. Miller picked up an apple from the ground. He cut it in half. It looks like a star inside, said Pip. Minna said, I think it looks like a flower. It looks like both a star and a flower, said Mr. Miller. In fact, apples are a member of a flower family, the rose family. They counted the seeds. There may be as many as 10 seeds inside an apple, said Mr. Miller. How many seeds do you see? Five, said Minna. 
Mr. Miller cut another apple in half, a different way. Look at all the parts an apple has, he said. You can see the stem, the skin, the red part, the core, and the flesh. The flesh is the part we eat. Did you know that seeds are also called pips, asked Mr. Miller. Minna pointed at Pip. They both giggled. Mr. Miller, do you grow trees from seeds, Minna asked. Well, apple trees can be grown from seeds. He took pictures from his pocket to show them. Here's a seed, and then it has a bud and a root, and the root gets longer and it grows into a sprout. Or they can be grown the way we grow them at Long Hill Orchard. We graft a branch with buds onto a rootstock. He showed them more pictures. So here's a branch from an apple tree that's already grown and it has buds. And so they, they put it onto a piece of root and they attach it on there with tape. And then that branch kind of grows into the root and the root grows into the branch and that's called grafting. Minna and Pip looked at the shiny seeds. I'll be Johnny Appleseed, said Minna. I read about him. He planted lots and lots and lots of seeds across America. They grew into apple orchards everywhere. Look, Minna, I'm Johnny Apple Pip. When their bags were filled to the top, they rode back down the hill. Hold on, said Mom. Whoa! Minna laughed. Hold on to your apples. Mr. Miller weighed the bags of fruit so that he would know how much to charge. Apple picking is fun, said Minna. So is apple eating, said Dad. Look, here's some other things that you can make with apples. Apple cider, apple butter, apple pie, apple jelly. Mmm. When they got home, they had an apple snack. The apples tasted sweet and juicy. Minna looked through her book. Here it is, she said. Here's the surprise recipe I want us to try. What do you think she wants to make? Time to make Minna's surprise recipe, said Dad. Pip washed the apples. Minna and Mom used a special tool to peel them. Dad sliced and diced them. So they washed how many apples? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then they peeled the apples. Then they cut and diced the apples. Then they added, uh, they put them in a pot. They added two tablespoons of maple syrup and a quarter cup of apple cider and some cinnamon. It says, ask an adult to bring it to a boil. Shake in cinnamon, reduce heat to a simmer, stir and cook until soft. It should cook about 20 minutes. What do you think they made? They put the apples, the maple syrup, the cider, and the cinnamon into a big blue pot. Then mom put it on the top of the stove to simmer. It smelled delicious. When it was ready, Minna spooned it into bowls. Who wants some, she asked. Me, me, said Pip. Me, said mom. Me too, said dad. They all said, yum, applesauce. Minna read more, more, and more about apples. She learned how to make apple prints, which is very fun. She also read about apple sayings. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, because apples are good for you. Apple pie order. That means everything is in good order. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Members of a family are usually alike. They are like each other. An apple for the teacher. In the old days, a bright shiny apple was a favorite gift for a teacher. You are the apple of my eye. You are very precious or dear to me. And you are full of applesauce. That means you're being silly. You're full of nonsense. And do you know any other apple sayings? I hope you've enjoyed this story and now so you can sing the songs and I have an apple activity for you. You can make a puffy string apple. You'll get a cutout like this and then 
uh, some string. It might be red or pink or white or green. It's called um, variegated yarn, so it changes color as it gets longer. So you'll get a piece of string and an apple to wrap the string around. And then there are also two felt boards here. One is all the parts of the apple, just like the picture of the book we read. And the other one is the life cycle of an apple tree, starting from seeds. And then you'll see there's a tree here, and there's the flower side of the apple tree, and then it turns green. So you'll be able to put the apple tree together from seed all the way to when it has apples on it in the fall. I hope you guys have had fun with the apples and I can't wait to see you again soon.